Unit 16. Cowspiracy. The greatest threat to the Earth? August 30th. Anderson was unable to find much information about the devastation caused by animal agriculture on the websites of many environmental organizations such as Greenpeace. Furthermore, these organizations either disagreed wholly or partly with his findings, or refused to even meet with him. This is where the conspiracy part of Cowspiracy becomes clear. Anderson came to believe that the organizations were unwilling to face the problem that was causing more destruction than burning fossil fuels. The documentary suggests that, in part, this is due to the fact that convincing people to recycle or save water is a lot easier than getting them to give up meat. However, Cowspiracy also highlights the fact that businesses and special interest groups have the power to make sure agriculture is protected from both criticism and legislation that might eat into its profits. What's more, Anderson learns of environmental activists in Brazil who were killed when they tried to take on the industry. He also loses his financial backer for Cowspiracy, who pulls out because of the film's controversial subject matter. Anderson also explores the concept of backyard farms, which are more environmentally sustainable. However, there is simply just not enough land in the world for everyone to feed themselves this way while still eating meat. In the end, Anderson decides he has no alternative but to become a vegan. It takes less land, less water, and less energy to grow plants than it does to raise animals to provide meat and dairy products. Given the world's rapidly rising population, the documentary suggests that going vegan is the only way we will be able to feed the human race without completely destroying our fragile environment. Music